Welcome into Wager Talk TV. I am Drew Martin, joined by Tony Finn and Mid Major Matt of Wager Talk and SportsMemo.com. We're talking NFL playoffs. First game on the board, kicking us off. Wild card round. We got Indianapolis at Buffalo, 1 p.m. on CBS. Saturday kickoff here, Mid Major Matt. We got the Indianapolis Colts at the Buffalo Bills. Bills, minus six and a half, Orchard Park, New York, 51 the total. You interested in getting involved with the Colts and the Bills? Well, I mean, obviously, people are pretty much putting the, the Bills in the Super Bowl now with the way they've played as of late, it feels like, because they're just the hot team in the AFC. The heck, they're the hot team in the NFL. And, uh, of course, there's a lot of people that are lining up that uh, putting them in that game against the Chiefs coming up in the AFC title game. And, I, look, they've been playing some great football, and Josh Allen is extremely hot right now. But I think the Colts are an interesting matchup here. If Indianapolis decides to commit to Jonathan Taylor, Buffalo's rush defense is towards the bottom in the NFL. If the Colts decide to not play fast break football and just go and methodically move down the field, short passes, because you know it's probably going to be cold and Phillip Rivers doesn't have the army used to, I think the Colts can hang in here. And I think it'll be key to see if this number gets up to seven. I don't know if it actually will, because we all know how key number seven is. But I'm going to, you know, I think there's a chance that you can fade the Bills here. They're probably going to win the game, but I think the Colts have the right offense and the right defense to at least make things interesting and close the gap a little bit here. Tony, what are you thinking here? I mean, this game kicking off NFL wildcard division round. We got the Indianapolis Colts and the Buffalo Bills. Do want to throw out a stat here, Tony. Get your thoughts. We got Indianapolis playing five outdoor games this season, two and three this year, both straight up and against the spread. Do you think that factors in with Phillip Rivers getting older, you know, being used to Southern California, now in a dome, and now he's going to have to play it outside in New York in the month of January? How much do you think that factors in? And what are you looking to bet here, Colts first Bills? I think I think the, the real thing we need to find out is whether Phillip Rivers' wife will let him have several <laughs> masseuses before the game so that he can uh, somehow be prepared for this 25 degree weather. Uh, th there's no wind. Doesn't look like there's going to be any precipitation. Uh, that's good news for Colts fans. In in my opinion, it might even be good news for Bills fans. While while Allen did his college in Wyoming, he played through some snow and and through some bad weather. I'm assuming. I didn't do any checking on that, but I'm just going to assume that happened. And and Matt's correct that they are really pimping and playing this Bills team up um, because and, and for a good cause, for a good reason. They played really, really well. They they won 9 of 10. They covered every number in the last eight games. In the second half of the season, they covered every number thrown at them. And there was some there was some inflated numbers on their on their part. So uh, this comes down to if you want to do if you want to handicap a game, guys, like I handicap a game, it starts with a quarterback. It always starts with a quarterback. Even in the, it's different. This isn't the age of defense wins championships. Defense is icing. Offense wins championships, uh, and we can see by the totals this year. Allen went from being an NFL toddler to a potential Hall of, uh, Hall of Hall, a potential MVP. Um, he's obvious team leader right now. There's a few guys still on that. That, that team, but when he's behind the ball and by cent behind center and, and in game, he's in complete control of this offense. My problem with Indy is what it's always been, and that is Phillip Rivers. Uh, I think you need a quarterback to lead you to a championship. And, and while Phillip has the experience uh, years in the NFL, he really doesn't have a whole lot of playoff experience that's, that's positive. Let's be honest. He played for a team that, that was either inept uh, less talented, or he made some mistakes during uh, during that course of time. Um, I'm still not sold on this bill. This this is any uh, defense that was terrific the first half, guys. Terrific. The second half, they were far from terrific. They played a little softer schedule in the first half. Second half was tough. Schedule was tougher. So in turn, they had some numbers that weren't uh, that weren't quite as good. So do you lean on? Your power rookie running back, that's probably what Frank Reich's going to have to do. If I'm in this room, and I'm not going to say I am or I'm not, um, I'm, I'm on the Bills. They, they played week 17 for one reason. That was to play at home. I'll take them minus seven or less. I'm with you, Tony. I like the Bills in this spot at home as well. Guys, uh, check it out at the bottom of your screen there. We got 30-day all-access, heavily discounted. College basketball, NBA, only 199 bucks. Check it out at both websites where you can find Tony Finn and Mid-Major Matt. SportsMemo.com, WagerTalk, 
Indianapolis.com. Enjoy the game. Indianapolis at Buffalo.